Hello everyone and welcome to Jojo's Brick Time. Laughing <laughs> 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 plastic. It's fantastic. Alrighty, so I saw a picture of this Barbie house. Now this is a Mega Blocks Barbie house and I thought I need to build something like this. I saw it in Myron and it costs $199 and I went, nope, I'm going to build my own. Let's start with Barbie. She is going to live in this house. Now I had to put that Emma's top on her because I really loved that. I thought it was perfect for Barbie. And I had this hair piece, I think it was from a DC girl and I just painted the headband with nail polish. We've got Ken and my daughter actually made him. And I just put this little jacket on him that my friend sleeps with Lego crocheted for me. So he's wearing my jacket and my daughter thought Ollie's hair would be perfect for Ken and I thought so too. So we're going to stick him over here with Barbie. Here is Skipper. She is one of Barbie's sisters. Now she has brown hair and blue eyes and she loves wearing jeans and I love this mini fig hair piece. I thought that would look perfect for her and another sister this time it's Stacy and Stephanie's outfit I thought was perfect for her because she's really sporty she has green eyes and this nice little blonde ponytail we're going to pop her over here and little sister Chelsea now I use the little micro doll from the advent calendar so that was little Stephanie there oh, she just doesn't want to stand up get up and then I just popped on Aurora's hairpiece for her. She's so cute. My girls named this poodle McDougal Poodle or something. I thought this was going to be perfect for Barbie's house. She loves poodles. It's already got a little pink collar. And the cat Crunkus, cute little cat with a pink little bow. Now those girls aren't going to be living in this house. It's just going to be Barbie, Ken and the animals. Ta-da! Here's the front of Barbie's house. Now there's lots happening here. Lots of pink, lots of flowers, lots of everything. I've made these lamps here to light up the path. So they go here at the front of the house. Lots of palm trees here. I loved the hammocks. I had to use that. Made little planter pots at the front too to add lots of garden stuff and flowers and bushes little pink flamingo had to be here because Barbie loves flamingos did a little path there with pebbles and slabs here's another little garden bed that I continued on this garden bed has many flowers here I've popped in lots of palm trees for that beachy feel and a little umbrella here with some recliner lounges so I think that came out of the movie the yellow color I thought yep I'll use these up from the hotel a close-up here of the front door area and the chimney so I loved that chimney that came with that mega block set and I thought I'm gonna build that decorated the front here with these pots popped in some double doors and I did the transparent pink bricks there because I love that. It looks so good. And a lot of Barbie houses have these white ornate detailing. So I thought I'll include that with those fences there. I love those three paned windows. So I use them throughout the house. I just love how much detail they add. And the curved steps leading up to the front porch. I had to include too. I loved it now the pool this was the hardest part because I, well, my kids stuck that whale in <laughs> i made another whale floaty because that was i've seen the picture somewhere anyway the pool i wanted to make a really big pool and then i saw they tiled all around on the mega block set so i wanted to do that also as you can see here can see it a lot better now the pool I wanted to be quite large and to fit the slide in so yeah that took a while to design and because I didn't want the place being so wide it was hard but I had to yeah make my garden quite big to fit the pool in but I think it turned out quite good actually the way it is now 
I had these flower stems from the bricks and pieces order I had. I thought I'll use them up and make these pretty flowers with them. I think they've turned out quite good. Perfect for Barbie's house. So there's that pathway again. I loved how that turned out too. So here, so I wanted to make this 32 wide. It ended up being 48. I just could not make it look good to fit the pool in. And the depth is 32, the base. And then the house, I had to make it 16 studs deep. I couldn't make it any smaller because I wanted to fit so much detail in as you'll see later on what I've fitted inside. But I think it's turned out quite good the way it is and it fits well into my city. So let's spin this around and take a look at the kitchen. Lots of pinks and purples in this kitchen and the front door if you can see those translucent pink bricks they just make it stand out and add lots of light in. I've, I really like that feature. I love how that turned out. So the kitchen, I've got a little scale here. I've hung up some utensils and then I made that brick splash back at the back there. And she has a little toaster there, a fridge with lots of cups on top. A center island here with the sink and she has a fancy tap there got lots of yummy food there there's a salad and a fruit bowl and then the little dining table here in the corner with some pancakes and a croissant and then this is the little dining chair that I made I better pick up that banana before someone slips on it and here are some three little bar stools for the kitchen bench there and then I made this little mixer because Barbie loves baking and I thought why not make her a mixer to leave on her bench there. And then a little sideboard of buffet to put into the dining room. So I need to pop on some accessories. We've got a little vase here, lots of flowers, another lamp because Barbie just loves having lamps and then a picture of herself doing a ballet. So we're going to pop that on there and that's going to be stuck here in the corner in the dining room. And above the buffet we need another picture of Barbie and she's holding another little puppy dog. So I had a few of these stickers from a Barbie sticker book, so I used them up. I thought, oh, work perfect for the house. So there's the kitchen. I'm super happy with that. We're going to take a look at this lounge room. Now over here, I've got the TV above the fireplace and I made a little mantle there with some accessories. Got the little dog bed there in the corner. There are two super comfy couches here and I'll just zoom in so you can see. Now this little coffee table, I had these parts in my bricks and pieces order and I was like, hmm, how can I use these shields? And I thought, why not make a modern coffee table? So I just clicked them onto those little clip pieces and I off-centered them and now it's like a modern coffee table. So I'll just show you, I'll just move this lamp and show you the couch. Really simple to make, nice and comfy for Barbie and Ken. Nice big modern looking couches. I thought I'll make them in purple to keep the theme going here. And there's that splashback from the kitchen and looks really cool there on the wall. Just adds extra detail. And here's the other couch with a little cushion there, a little mobile. Made the little rug under the coffee table as well. And here's the lamp. So I used one of those whip pieces and just made a nice funky modern lamp. And I need to stick it on there properly. There we go. Looks so cool there in the corner. So that's Barbie's lounge room. And I forgot, I made her this picture. So I had all these stickers of Barbie, so popped them all on there. And it's going to go above the couch here, so she can look back at all her photos. Oh, this is looking good. I love the pink and purple and white colour scheme, I think, for Barbie's house. 
That's the downstairs area done. Now I think you can see why it needed to be this large. I just put so much stuff inside. Let's take a look at the next level. So here is her dressing area and bathroom. Just going to click it all into place. So I just made this one, this level removable. But first I will show you under here I made these little chandeliers to put above her kitchen bench and then I made one to go above her dining table also and then this fancy chandelier to go above her front door because in my old Barbie houses Barbie always had a chandelier so I thought yep she needs one here so that's finished off the bottom level perfectly the wardrobe dressing area I had lots of washi tape. I thought I'd decorate that panel with the washi tape. She's got dresses here. Her wigs and hair accessories are here. She's got bags on the side of the wall. And then I made her this little clothes rack. So she's got all her little clothes hanging up. She even wants to dress as Elsa sometimes. So that just goes in there. It's quite easy to remove and then it's not easy to put back in. Hang on, pop it in there. There we are. I made this rug here also and that's to hold the floor in place. And then here is her little dressing table. So she's got all her makeup and hair accessories there too. I've just removed that so you can see the washi tape on the wall there as well. And this is the dresser so you can see it a little bit better very easy to make and that just goes in here she's got lots of perfumes there so that's her dressing area done now we're going to look at the bathroom have a nice separate bath there I actually made a video on how to make this bath so I've just changed the tap so it's a little bit fancier for Barbie and then she has a shower there in the corner and I liked that from the set it's like a little curved wall so I tried doing that also and then we've got a little shell basin here and lots of perfumes and a hairdryer there on the side and I tiled the bathroom pink and white that is the wardrobe area and the bathroom. Loved how this has turned out. And here's that slide. Oh, that was a nightmare to put in. But anyway, here's the front of the house. Continued that um, fireplace there. I did a sliding door. Popped in more plants. And then I did this glass railing there and we've got a little juice maker and I made a little egg chair so Barbie can sit up here and relax and have her juice and do some reading there she's sitting in there is it going to hold her yes it does and here now I tiled the front and I used these brackets so I can pop these tiles in at the front so to give a, another shade of pink and to hide the white plate so you don't see any white lines there now. So that's um, that actually looks quite modern now. It looks like a very modern beachy blocky beach house. So that's the front and we're going to turn it to the side so you can see how I did that. So that's where the bathroom is. I just love how that fireplace has turned out also beautiful pink house let's check her bedroom out Barbie has another sitting area here at the top so just another one of those recliner chairs here's that slide that oh but before that oh, another one of these plants I love these plants now I need to make more of those um, this slide was so challenging to put in. I didn't know how to make it look good from the front, but I worked it out. I needed it to be three slides high. But anyway, this is her bedroom. And she's got a little reading area there with a lamp. I did a little rug here and that's to hold the floor in place also. There is like a little bookshelf to store all her books and magazines so she can do lots of reading. And now her bed. 
Now Barbie has two bedside tables, so these are really easy to make, and she loves lamps. She has lamps everywhere, so I made this fancy one with some gold detailing, and her bed, I didn't make it into that love heart shape. It just wasn't going to look right for my house, but I did make her headboard out of those bumpy bricks and it makes it look soft and textured which is the look I was going for and her little cat's cat stands there in the corner so that fitted in there perfectly and more washi tape on the panel there that's Barbie's bedroom just going to show you what it looks like here on the side That fireplace continues on all the way to the top. Just makes this house look so modern. And the front here, I did the same tiling to, you know, give that extra pink color on the side and that modern look. Now, we have a rooftop party deck. Did the same um, balustrading, railing, continued all that at the top. My kids said, Mum, Barbie needs a rooftop party area. So I'm like, okay, let's make one and put a spa at the top also. There is another seating area here with these comfy swivel chairs. I love making those. Popped in a little umbrella here. And I love fairy party lights. I had to include those. And just added some hanging baskets with plants for added colour and detail. There is a bowl of chips here and I had to include the seagulls so the seagulls come along <laughs> to try and pinch some chips. They love doing that. And then I've got the little DJ party station up here as well so Ken can play some tunes when everyone's up on the deck. This is actually a great use of space including a rooftop deck to add more stuff in for Barbie to do. I think it's time for Barbie and Ken and the animals to move in. So I'm just going to pop them there. Where I'm going to put the cat. Oh, I'll pop her into the garden and McDougal Poodle can go at the front here. My Lego Barbie dream house. Whoa, I had lots of magenta bricks to use up and I bulldozed another house to build this. I love how it's turned out. So I didn't want to make it completely the same as the Mega Blocks house as it wasn't going to tie in into my city. And I thought this worked out much better for what I needed. And I'm just super happy with it. And now my daughter's taken it to be sitting in her room. <laughs> so I've lost my house. Now I hope I have given you some ideas on how to build your dream house. So everyone, get your bricks out, get building and get creative.